I got some uh, JBA's upper control arms. I'm gonna install. Beta yells. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'll be installing that today, but I'm not gonna show the actual install because you can see like a million of those, right? But what I want to see if there's a difference with the droop, which obviously there should be, but I'll just kind of like, yeah. I'm gonna lift the truck up, see where the stock, how far it goes up before the tires come off the ground. We can take that measurement and then uh, we can kind of check the angle of the upper control arm, the stock one right now, before we lift it up. And then we'll do those same measurements after I install it and then maybe even after I get it realigned. So let's go, let's go check it out. So I wanted to measure the angle of it, right? <clears throat> of the upper control arm right now how it sit regular but we're, we're gonna do this like kind of ghetto we're just gonna eyeball it so if i try to keep my hands flat like so a let's say we're about the upper control arm sticking about an inch and a half below the tire so i want to see you know once i install it put it on once it sits normal i want to see if this is higher so we'll go this is about this side about an inch and a half so I'm gonna lift this up now, see how far the tires droop, and then we'll take that measurement up to the fender. Let's crank this to the, we'll crank this up till the things come up. So let's see, let's see the tire wheels come up, and then we'll measure, All right? Let's see. Now let's say, Is that up? Not sure. Let's go. Let's go again. Yeah. Okay. So, the tires finally came off. So, up from there. And then look at that. You got there. It's almost hitting spring, but it doesn't hit the spring almost. So, right now, I'm going to say. 41 and a half. That's what we got. Uh, and then, <clears throat> with my setup, what I got, I got a real basic standard fucking 6112s. But I have a, with a Toy Tech top cap, and it has a one inch spacer already on it. And then I have this set on the number four. I think I have to set on the number four setting with this one inch toy cap. So it's on the second and last setting for the 6112 for my Tacoma. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install everything right now and then we'll come back and we'll kind of see if there's any difference with the droop, the stock angle while it's on the ground and then we'll get back to that. Okay, so one of the other things too, I don't know if this will have a gap, but let's see if it makes a difference next time. If I put my finger against my spring, I can't get my finger in there. See if that makes a difference. But, so that's, that's, that's what I got. Let's go. So we got one side on. It was a lot easier than I thought. It was pretty quick. It took maybe, uh, maybe it took like half an hour. It was pretty fast though, pretty easy, but just sitting like this, like again, Taking off the, the stock one, putting this one on, where I couldn't get my finger in on the stock one, like with this one, my finger goes all the way in against the thing, against the spring. So right off the bat, it makes a little bit of difference right there with spacing. So I'm gonna go finish the other side, put everything, I'll finish the other side, put everything back on, set it back on the ground, let's take some measurements again. Okay, so we have it sitting up, it's all, installed and the difference here is this right off the bat you know we already went through that we got that gap in between it's a lot bigger and let's see what the droop we got so we got 42 so we gained a, a half inch in droop from the original one i'm gonna lower it and let's see where the upper control arm is as far as how level it is. Okay, got everything lowered. We're gonna go back to the ghetto measurement <laughs> of the arm. So, I mean, it's not much difference. It's maybe an inch, 
before like I guess maybe it might have been like two inches like this with the original upper control arm but with this one we got there's like maybe an inch difference as far as how high it's sitting so not that much of an inch a little bit the biggest difference is how much room we have in between the spring and the upper control arm but I will get it aligned and see if there's a difference there and that'll be the final one but hey got the finally got some upper control arms for this truck and okay so first impressions with the driving um there's definitely a big difference in the way it steers i mean before i installed this the steering wasn't bad it was uh i mean it was barely loose you, know, you hit a little bump and the steering would shake a little bit but the biggest difference with this is that it almost puts it back to factory steering as far as like how it feels how tight it is so it's, it's pretty good i mean it's I mean, it makes a big difference how much smoother it is. I didn't realize how, how loose my steering was, but because it didn't really feel that loose before, but now it just feels a lot tighter. So, so that's my uh, little review of the JBA. It's not installed, but just kind of like how it feels and, uh, and the differences. So, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch up for the uh, I don't know, whatever next upgrade I do. I probably my bumpers. All right, fellas, late.